I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get into this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure I do this right. I'm gonna get a drink. I got my vanilla float, Dr. Pepper from last year. Hopefully they will start selling it again this year in July, which is when they usually do. Cause it's all like American flaggy, and like flip flops and beach stuff. Only sold in July for the last two years. It's my most favorite pop on the planet. Okay. All right, so there's that option. And then there's that option. And then there's that option. or a sex worker. They're very different fields. Oldest field, I think the oldest, I think anthropologically, they're the oldest uh, career in the, in, oh, I'm, I'm not saying it right, shoot. I used to know like the actual phrase, it's the old, uh, no, God, it's the oldest, like, job. Career. I'm not. I don't know. I'm not saying right, man. I'm gonna forget. I'm gonna edit that out, man. That's stupid. <laughs> it's like you know. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. It's the oldest um, profession. There we go. It's the oldest profession in the books. Lots of money on display here tonight. Well, we gotta hit some of that later. Not so loud. We'll hit it. Huh? Oh, is that what she's yelling? I can hear somebody yelling and which is like, there was somebody like, what are you still doing here? Is that Morin? Or is it one of these humans? Oh! What do you have? These are good people, but they look bored. Bored people don't spend much. And you got an idea for how I could fix that? A round of drinks shows that you appreciate their business. Your rep will improve and you'll make more money in the end. Maybe worth a try once. You better That's be That's an interesting right. face. Listen up, everyone. We love having you here. So a round of drinks on the house. Ah, <laughs> Turian in the back. Brrr. Okay, I had not done that I hate one. this place and everyone in it. Every night I hate it all over again. Are you, is that like a human or is that freaking, I don't know. So we could dance or we can... Those guys aren't bad. I might talk to this guy. I don't talk to you. Are you sure this is where you want to be? Me? I, I think it's just 
just some random human. I know that guy's got like tickets or something. Let's talk to this guy. Uh, hi. I need help right now, and I don't know who to ask. You're human, and you don't look high, so you're it. Can you help me out? Slow down and tell me what the problem ah, is. Ah, Shepard, problem right. solver. Slow Woo! Down. Sorry, I, I just don't know what to do. My friend Moiral is doing a piece on Omega Games. She's hanging with Florid. He's the worst of the worst. Hmm. What is she doing? Uh. A vid piece. She's an investigative reporter, you know? She's trying to profile Danny. That's really stupid! Your friend could get hurt. Yeah, and she's going to. See, Florence on her. His gang is on the oh. way here, and they're gonna make a mess of her. So she's trying to do I it on the slide? To to her and fast. You seem to have a lot of information. I'm her tech. I've been monitoring the gang's calm. The last transmission said Florence going to splatter her. Man, I'm a tech junkie. I don't know how to handle this. I mean, he's, he's, it's true. Like, you know, that there are some people just, they don't know, they don't know. Like, you can't blame the guy. Like, what's he gonna do? Run over there and be like, ah! You know, get them both killed? Like, he's tr he's being smart. He's trying to get her not dead and him not dead. What do you want me to do? She and I have a code. If you go over and say two words to Fort, my friend will get the message and get out of there. The two words are terminal and eternity. In that order. Please tell me you can do that. She's going to die. Terminal and eternity. Sounds simple enough. Why can't you do it? I stare at monitors all day. I can't walk up and talk to a gang leader. I'd piss my pants and run away. I can't let Moira all die. It's just saying two words in a sentence. You can do that, right? I can do that. Thank Little you. Shepard, I Thank can you. do that. Remember, Head tilt. terminal and eternity. In that order, just work them into a sentence. A terminal illness will bring you eternity. Is that, is that, that was mean. That's all I get. That, that's like the first thing I think of. Like, terminal is like death, and death is eternal, you know? But I don't know how you'd work that into a conversation. It would totally depend on what the topic of the conversation was, that it wouldn't sound so out of place. Something I can do for you, lady? Is there a public extranet terminal around here? In a club? You don't have an omni tool? Uh, just like, that is a pretty strange question. And I love that, like, you have to remember, it's like terminal and eternity, otherwise, and they, like, try to trick you by putting eternity on top. I get by on public terminals. My Omni tool has been broken for an eternity. Shepard's like, ah, uh, my, uh, That's public break. terminals! You now. Hey, Florit, I have to pee. <laughs> yeah? Hurry back, Moirol, I'm ready to head out. My name is Morin. I've been watching you. You're the most interesting person in this place. I've got a booth over here in the shadows. Why don't you that just sounds so inviting. I got a booth in the shadows where I can shank you. Some nights I come here and there's no one interesting to talk to. Some nights, there's just one person. Tonight, it's you. Why is that? Uh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, we gotta be confident. Um... We could say we're alike because she's drawn to creative people with a spark. And so Shepard, I don't know. Um, okay, well, you don't want to be aggressive, she said. We'll try this. I know what I like. Do you? Just a cars. Family. <laughs> um, we'll try music. What do you think of the music here? Dark rhythms, violent pulses. It stirs something primitive in me. What about you? Heck yeah. Everything I hear has something good about it. I see you're a woman of strong opinions. You can lose yourself in the music here. There are ways to enhance that. You know? What do you think of Halex? It slithers through my soul. Seems like we share some interests. <laughs> do you know anything I about I almost her? think I, you want to try to, to like darkest not. Places in me. What about you? What did she say about art? Was that about art? Um, art talks to you? Uh, local artists? What? <laughs> uh, that would be interesting. That would be, be kind of interesting to see what she said to, like, some of these. I wonder if you could, uh, you probably can just get her to go away and then, like, you fail right away. I didn't even think about that. That would be interesting to try out. Not to, like, keep, but to just try and see what it, it would take to lose her interest. Do you know the artist Forta? I didn't think anyone around here knew him. He's sublime. I hope Shepard looked up Art some pictures on the way over. I've seen vids that were more powerful than a sculpture sitting in a gallery. Too busy. <laughs> um, 
I would think that saying too many of the things that she liked, especially too many of the things that she mentioned to the last girl she killed, would be a dead giveaway, but this is fairly formulaic, so... Do you know Vienna? My favorite. The two actresses on it are so glamorous. I'll have to watch it. Maybe we could do that together. Travel! I've traveled all over the galaxy. It changes you, doesn't it? I think I said that, but, uh... I love coming home. That's the renegade one. It changes you? No. I like the danger. Um. Get you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's the probably the one you should say. I think I said this last time. I love finding and opening new sectors of space. Discovering another ball of gas with bits of cold, dead rock around it. <laughs> Each new system holds a chance to meet new cultures or learn a new way to see the universe. Breathtaking. Okay. When I travel, I find myself drawn to dark, dangerous places. Violent places? Violence is the surest expression of power. Uh, you must be insecure. <laughs> okay, I don't think I've done that before. I think I always took the safer route, which is I like the danger. But, um, it's interesting that you can recover a little bit if you want. There's like always, a, there's always something that you, maybe not always, but in that situation I could recover. That's cool. Okay, I like that. Uh, power is strength. If you're the strongest, you have the power. That's certainly true. Among children. Hmm. And adults. <laughs> Whoever wants it the most is willing to do anything for it has the power. Do you want to get out of here? <laughs> the apartment is nearby and I want you alone. Okay, so I think, I, I think I did the down route both times on those just to make it easier, but that was interesting to see the see the, the recovery that Shepard could make. Keep Morinth busy. Why does she have a giant Krogan statue? Sculpture. A chess set. Interesting. Okay, it's one of those open... She got a nice apartment. Shoot. Door. Can't get out. Assault rifle. Morinth. Pill bottle. Assault rifle. Whoa, wait. Oh my gosh, I did not know you could do that, sword. I'm gonna poke the, the sculpture. What is the difference between a statue and a sculpture? Are they the same thing? I'll have to look a gift up. from a suitor. The statue's got more personality than he did. Still, he impressed me enough that he finally got what he wanted. It didn't end the way he hoped. <laughs> yeah. Um, did he make it or did he buy it? You know. Okay, so same thing. He's about to win just before you Interesting jump. that, like, in this situation, Shepard pacing around, Morinth is like, she is in her lair. Like, she knows exactly where you are at all times. Like, she doesn't have to move. She's in complete control there. Have a Halix if you want. But wouldn't you rather have all your senses be clear and sharp right now? I certainly I wonder do. if that would affect uh, the experience for her. Um, I wonder if she prefers you to not be on drugs when she, like, blows your brains out. Sucks your soul out, basically. That would be an intimidating concept to, like, have to, like, explain, like, religiously, maybe? Maybe not. Maybe it wouldn't be, like, intimidating, but it's, like, maybe it would be, like, a affirmation of the soul or something, but maybe it would just be, like, you know, oh, the, the fragility of the soul is, the, the soul exists, like, separate from the body or whatever. I don't know. It'd be interesting. It'd just be interesting. Hi! Did I poke every- I poked all the things! I- Got a nice- got a nice pad here. Wait, let's check out your kitchen. Do you- I bet you don't cook. You probably just order really nice food all the time. Her pots and pans are like- well, these are upside down. It kind of looks like. She got a coffee pot, some knives. Good, I'll keep an eye on where the knives are. One of those weird tablets. I don't know if I'd want a clear tablet, you know? Then I could see whatever's behind. People could see my face through it. Then I would be like, hey, please don't look at my stupid reading face when my reading face is retarded. I love clubs. People, movement, heat. 
I can still hear the bass like the drums of a great hunt out for your blood. But here, it's muted, and you're safe. Is that what you want, Shepard? Safety is a lot. Yes, Marth. I think I, I saw something in one jack actually, because I didn't know. I think you can actually kind of get possessed or whatever if, like, your paragon or renegade isn't high enough. People feel safest right before they die. It's true. We're never safe. I've never understood the fascination with safety. Some of us choose differently. Independence over submission. I think we share that, you and I. <laughs> I'm the stronger. <laughs> yes, Baron. I don't know how it is, but somehow you can get it to the point where, like, you have to take those options. We've both killed many times. But that's where the similarities end. Why do you say that I've killed? What do you know? Let's stop playing games. Look into my eyes. So she just, like, Tell did an sorry mind meld, I think. Tell me you'd kill for me. Anything I want. Yeah, like, it, it, you can get to the point, I think, or, like, if you don't have the correct percentage, you have to choose that option. There's no other choice. Surprise! I don't kill me. <laughs> but you... Who are you? Oh, no. Shepard's not even moving back. She's like... The bitch herself found a little helper. She's, like, ready to take her on. Marin. Mother. Do not call me that. I can't choose to stop being your daughter. You call her your daughter. Mother. You made your choice long ago. What choice? My only crime was being born with the gift you gave me. Well, and are we not blaming the father? I am the genetic death. Oh, this did this to me last time too. It cuts out here. So, uh, man, like all the audio, like every single bit of it. I don't know why you would choose Samara. I don't know why you would choose, or you, why you would choose Morinth over Samara. It'd be kind of interesting at some point, but like the fact that she's saying she's the genetic destiny is like, she's, she's not. I, it, it's a huge, it's a, it's, wow, I almost killed Samara because I saw Samara and I thought it was like, save Samara. No. And Shepard's like, holy crap. I mean, they're both almost equally as powerful, but. I don't know why you would choose uh, Samara or choose Morinth over Samara. It's just so weird not having the audio. Uh, kill Morinth. Okay. And they call me a monster. <clears throat> Is that all it takes to kill her? Oh, okay. Find peace in the embrace of the goddess. What did she do? I don't think she like blew her head off. I think she just like. I am ready to leave this place and get on with my life. Are you ready to go as well? Do you want to talk about what happened? Shepard, what do you think I will say? What can I say? I just killed the bravest and smartest of my daughters. There are no words. I will try another time. For now. Show mercy on a broken old warrior and let us leave. Let's go. <sighs> Samara's story makes my heart hurt in ways that nobody else's does. I don't know. I mean, Tally, you feel for like, I don't know, for me, it's like, you, you, I, Tally's more my age, like, you know, like, dad died and you didn't have a good relationship like it was like a weird relationship like I can see that you know that I can see that more but Samara's just makes just makes your heart hurt and seeing everything she's lost and what she the way she refers to herself like as a broken old warrior and I don't know it's it's not pitiable it's just it's just sad. It's just sad. Samara has dealt with the art at Yakshi. She remains loyal shepherd personally. Loyalty to Jessica are beyond question. Uh, given a pair of bonds of oath rendered to Shepard better than hoped. 
Cerberus activities will not be affected further by presence of Shepard's team. What? Relieved that Jessica's mission completed. Wow. Like, they're like really super relieved. Unfortunately, body of Ari actually could not be taken for just study. Genetic abnormality could have been useful. Subject's expertise would have made her a valuable team member if sociopathic tendencies were mitigated. Um, somebody that I, I've been following, uh, I think, I, somehow, or like, just like seeing like posts from or whatever they they chose to to keep more at this time and that would be really interesting you know it'd be really interesting to see her in mass effect 3 but i i legit don't know why i mean other than the fact that there's the choice there right maybe your character doesn't get along well with samara or something you know and is intrigued by trying maybe trying to control more or something i don't know Reeve, cool. Damages, uh, restores health and gives temporary health bonus. Has double damage to armor and barriers. Unlocked a new outfit. All right, well, beauty gives me cool. We're level 29 now, I saw it too. Gonna get that 30. I don't think there's an achievement for doing that, but... Plus 32 Paragon, oh my gosh. And I just, it's in my head. Dane was watching the whole time. I think I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna be bringing Thane and Samara out now. I know it's a lot. I think before I wanted to do that too, but it just seemed like a lot of biotic power. Oh, and I was thinking the other day, I think I am pretty sure I actually was an engineer when I played Mass Effect 2 with this Shepard. Because it doesn't really make sense to go from a biotic to a an engineer. Because, I mean, there's a... It's interesting that you can be a biotic and it makes sense, but there really should be some acknowledgement of it in the story, maybe. Like, you know, that, that she would have probably have had a very different upbringing. Or did she just learn to control it on her own until she was 18 and got into the Alliance? Because my Shepherd's Earthborn, you know? And so maybe she just, she didn't have any training until she got into the Alliance and was kind of like a late bloomer. But if you're a Sentinel, like, and if you were, like, living on a spaceship or a colonial or something, like... Things would have been very different. Like, you probably... I mean, Caden's not that much older than you. Like, you probably would have been a part of the same thing that he was in. You know? And that could be interesting. I, want, I, I mean, I don't know. I don't think they acknowledge that in the story at all. But it would be cool if they did. I did, I did a couple papers on Samara. One big one and some little ones that led up to it, but yeah, uh, she's one of my favorite characters for sure. I know it doesn't seem like it because I don't bring her out. I don't I haven't talked to her in ages. That's because all we had to do was the, you know, the we got our personal mission. How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Nothing. Okay. Anything else, Commander? Bye. Bye. That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. Let's go poke Joker really quick. We'll go talk to Samara. I'm really bummed Samara doesn't have Singularity. You don't have Singularity in Mass Effect 2 unless you are a, a, a Sentinel, I think. I'm glad things worked out, Commander. I was worried you'd dump Samara for some crazy soul sucker with a death fetish all lithe and sexy and... Never mind. Never mind. I assume everything's going well I say here. Lith. Is it Good live? for now. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I think I made my point. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Bye, Joker. Well, well maybe... You gonna say anything? He's like, would you stop just standing behind me? It's creepy. Nominal to profile. Nominal to profile. I wonder if it changes if, like, he's, like, refuses to basically talk to Edie at all, and then, like, as the game progresses, he starts to... I'm thinking about taking up bullfighting. What do you think? <laughs> Why? Why do you say these things, Joker? <laughs> Just because I want to come up here and admire the stars. You know what I could go for right now? A hamburger. Not fat grown, an actual honest to god dead cow. Honest to god dead cow. With horseradish. Horseradish. Hear the race. With horseradish. Really fast. With horseradish. Open the airlock. I'm jettisoning myself. Jettisoning myself. 
Let's go do the, uh, we'll see if we have enough for the upgrade really quick, and then we will go... Assault rifle. Oh, we got plenty. Plus 30% assault rifle damage, upgrades, assault rifles, battle rifles, and machine guns. So, my SMGs? What's the difference between a slow rifle, battle rifle, and machine gun? Okay, just those. I don't have any armor upgrades. Med bay. Whoa, shoot! The platinum. The platinum is always about platinum. We'll be getting that before we before we do anything. Oh, oh! I could get the assault rifle accuracy. Squad bonus. Your entire squad assault rifle not much more accurate. Uh, small tar smart targeting module calculates and compensates for minute barrel movements. Whether in the environment, fire on target, and a howling gale feels the same as it does on a calm day on a practicing range. Smart targeting does not mean the bullet will automatically find the mark every time the trigger's pulled. It only makes it easier for the marksman to aim. I think it'll be more complicated, like having maybe like like Gareth has like numbers flashing up on his screens and stuff. Like I'd be like distracted by it. Cool, cool. Looks like we've worn out basically everything at this point. Okay, Samara. Let's go talk. I've I've missed talking to Samara. The only reason I haven't gone and talked to her like every time is because she, all she would say is, "Can we go get more?" You know, and I always, for some reason, she's, like, always left for last, and, like, I just, I, I, I think part of it is because, like, I do, you know, I, I want to do grunts, because I wanted to go, well, I want to do Thames, right? And then I'm like, oh, I really should do Miranda and Jacob, I've had them for the longest, and then it's, like, you know, and then there's Garrus and Tally, who I've known for a long time, and, and then there's, um, and then grunt because I want to go see Rex and then while I'm there I might as well just do Mordens even though I don't do Miranda's and Mordens at the same time or Miranda's and uh... oh no wait because Miranda's was on Ilium who else was on Omega I don't remember ah oh, smart it's been too long I apologize Morinth haunted my dreams and waking hours equally for the first time in 400 years, I am free. I am a ruined vessel of sorrow and regret, but I am free. It is not a feeling I can describe. It's just, whoever wrote her dialogue is a freaking genius. Like, just her words. And then I, she doesn't, like, overly exaggerate, but there is emotion under her words. And even on the lack of emotion, like, you can input your own there if you want, but it's just, like... I'm a ruined vessel of sorrow and regret. Like, just the way she speaks, I freaking, I love it. That's why I fell in love with Solus, it's just the way he spoke. Uh, you did your duty. What about your feelings? One of my daughters is dead. My hopes, my dreams were all bound up in my children. Still. My feelings have always come after my duty. The same is true of you. Mm. And that's 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 what I think this conversation actually kind of helps solidify my idea, my shepherd, as someone whose duty came before feelings. Because in Mass Effect Three, there's a certain situation that happens where I would have given anything to have given feelings priority over duty, and you can't. The game doesn't let you, and it's because. You can't. You are Commander Shepard. Like, you have to save the galaxy. And with all of that on your shoulders, you cannot take the few moments to pause next to a, an injured loved one. You know, you can't. You have to keep going. And it's, it's, it's so difficult. It's so, it was so interesting playing Mass Effect 3 with the Thane romance, I can tell you that. <clears throat> You said that Morinth was a monster, but she was still your daughter. She was the strongest and smartest. She would not accept the injustice thrust upon her. She fought to the end. I am so proud of her, Shepard. 
It's so interesting the way she freaking... I, I, hmm, I don't think I did that. Um, we'll, we'll see. You killed her for being what she was. And I would again. But I also know what it means to leave everything behind and fight. Do you realize that she went on the run at the age of 40? I do not know human years well, but it is very young for a sorry. That is, is she's basically like four. <laughs> like, I don't know, you know, not four, but she, she was a very young teenager. When we meet Liara, she's considered young for her species, and she's 110, I think, or, or no, is she, no, is she 50? She might just be 50. Oh, shoot, I don't know, she might be 50. I think she, I think no, I think she said something about barely being a century, maybe half a century. I don't know, but she's she's in the academic world and she's like gone to like the universities and all this stuff and done. She's been working in the field for a while, but she is still considered very young. You know. Was it worth it? So forty is incredibly young. It was never young. a question of worth, but of need. I had to take the action I did, as did she. This was never a story that would have a happy outcome. Nope. What will you do now that Morinth is gone? Assuming I survive your mission, I am a Justicar. Injustice still exists, and perhaps even other Aratyakshi. See, yeah, this is a big, this is a big, I, I feel like this wasn't just, this was not addressed well in Mass Effect 3. The fact that Samara's children are technically living in a compound full of Arda Yakshi. And she's like, I don't know about other Arda Yakshi. And she's not lying. She, she doesn't lie. So that was something, that, that's another one of those small little story discrepancies between Mass Effect 2 and Mass Effect 3. Genetic destiny. Orinth claimed that her condition was the future of the Asari race. Morinth would say anything that served her cause. Arda Yakshi are sterile, yeah. Shepard. That wouldn't be a particularly viable future for my people. Interesting that they are sterile. I mean, I just, I, you would think the Asari would have figured this out by now. Uh, I thought Ardat Yakshi were extremely rare. Asari have spread to many worlds. There are remote regions with no government oversight. If I travel to those worlds and they do exist, I will find them. Yeah, big yeah, mm-hmm. There's no way to correct the condition, Morinthad? We are an advanced species, but we don't have magic. You have biotic! When Whee! the trait manifests at maturity, it is too late for well, mitigation. Well, why don't they, like, It only occurs tests. in purebloods like myself. Perhaps that is the root of the stigma regarding Asari-exclusive pairings. I don't know. It, it has to be. There, like, there really is no other way. There's no other... I mean, they could have other reasons, but that I think that would be the root of the cause, not or the root of the stigma, not necessarily how it's, why it's there now, you know? You don't want to settle down? I did. I returned to my home world and tried to start a family. I will fight and struggle all my life. That is my fate. And mine. When I die, it will not be in bed. I am at peace with that. You still control the direction of your life. I have chosen this path. I truly am at peace. Due in no small part to you. <sighs> I freaking love Samara. Like, her and Thane are like my two, like, bulwarks. Like, they just, they are, well, and, and Garrus too, in his own way. But, like, he's more like Shepard than these two are. They are just so completely different, but at the same time... Like, from her, but they are the two in the crew that are, even when they were distressed, were in some way at completely at peace with themselves, you know? Shepard. How are you? How are Perhaps you? Perhaps we could speak later. How are you? I wish to meditate. How do you think our mission is going? Spirits are high. We have a strong team, and everyone is committed. Okay, okay, nice. I should go. Of course. Not everyone's committed yet, of course. We still have Jack. <laughs> but... Yeah. Oh, let's go see if we can poke Kasumi. Will she say anything about it? 
I was just thinking about you. Yeah? It must have been really hard for Samara to ask you to help kill her own daughter. She told me she really appreciated your help. As hardcore as she is, I'm not sure she could have done it without you. She, she talks to Kasumi. One of the girls in navigation thinks she might be pregnant. Even aboard a Cerberus vessel, life finds a way. Like, she's not just this, like, recluse. Like, she comes out every now and then. And in Mass Effect 3, there, it's funny to have her. Like, at one point, it's kind of... There's a, a DLC, a Citadel. I really liked... I think it changes if you have Zaid there, but I really liked the way Samara was for me in the Citadel DLC. It was... It was nice. She was... Shepard's little breath of fresh air, sort of. Well, next we'll go get Jack's mission's mission done. And that'll be everybody except Zaid. <laughs> Fishy! Good, good. Good, good. Let's see. So cute! Do I have? Oh, oh, oh! I actually really like Samara's secondary outfit. Boop! Yeah, the black. I like it. Hey, I like it. Uh, no new messages. Okay. All right. Well, I'm gonna call this here. Um, I freaking I love Samara's mission. It's it's good. Um, I don't know. There's tons I could say about it. I, I think I've I've brought up several times what I've written about her a little bit and stuff, and I. About her situation and the Asari situation with Yara Yakshi and everything, and I just—it's awesome. I freak. I, I love it. It's great. <laughs> so, uh, or it's just—it's just interesting. It's not like great or whatever. It's just very interesting juxtapositions in in those in that society, and it, and it relates in a lot of ways to some situations in the real world, and it's cool. I like it. But um, anyway, thank you guys again for joining me. I will see you in the next one.